not often we have a community that rallies behind an event, particularly a Paralympic event, as, as much as this community has. We are able to shut down more than seven miles of road for two complete days. Congratulations. I met Dr. Colvin a couple years ago. What I realized is even though I had only just met her, we had something in common. Perfect because it's a closed course. One of her former students was one of my former athletes, Warren Strickland. 20 plus years ago, one of my students at another university was a para hand cyclist. Oh good, thank y'all, as always. He taught me a lot about cycling and about para athletics. Two months before graduation, I get a phone call that um, Warren Strickland had been run over and um, killed in a training accident. They were like, you, you really need to come to the hospital. It was my whispered promise that I will bring a para cycling event somewhere in my career. In January 2020, I retired. I was thinking that my, my legacy is done. A position came open in the Department of Kinesiology and Sport Management. I feel the push again, and here I am. First week I'm in campus, I tell them this is a very small thing, right? I just want to have a conference for para. But they were like, no, think big, think grand scale, because we are Texas A&M. This is their road to Paris. His legacy lives on, and not, not just through little me, you know, but through these athletes. Second, third, they guys riding up a It's a great track. feeling to know that, that he, he's not forgotten, um, and that a lot of what he did as a paracycling athlete um, really paved the way for the athletes who are racing today. I hear him whispering to me, thank you. You're gold medalist. This is the beginning of something fantastic. If we look at our mission and our vision of the university, it fits exactly in to these types of athletes.